Afternoon, Mike. Uh, with having to work inside the last two days because of the weather conditions, uh, does that make it maybe easier to just postpone any decision on Derek's uh, status uh, until the postseason starts? Mm, no, I don't think it makes it any easier, any harder. He's still able to do um, stuff that he would normally do in practice if we were outside. Terry. Jim Wyatt. Sorry, Mike, I'm having a little trouble there. Um, no, of course you are, Terry. Yes. <laughs> uh, AJ said that you guys haven't uh, dwelt much on the, the number one seed and what's at stake this week. Is that just kind of kind of the normal approach, just go in and uh, you know, try to take care of business and let things fall where they may? That kind of seems to be what he indicated. You, Terry, you'd have to help me out here. Are you trying to ask me to comment on what, um, AJ, what AJ I, said, or are you trying to ask me a question what the what my message has been to the team? Yeah, your message to the team as far as the number one seed and that sort of thing. Yeah, again, I'd remind you that uh, winning takes care of everything. Uh, we're trying to continue to um, make strides of playing our best football late. And we've done that uh, the last, you know, I would feel like six quarters at, as a team uh, where we're – we're complimentary. We're taking care of the football, uh, focused on the keys uh, that we think are going to be important to win each and every week. And then, you know, it's another challenge this week. And um, But I think that that's important that we try to do those things um, here late in the season to, to continue to help us to win. Kayla? Yeah, speaking of the Texans this weekend, Coach, a little bit different from what you faced earlier on in the season, new quarterback in there. Um, what do you see out of these guys this week? Well, I mean, it's, um, you know, they've been running the football. You know I mean? The, the O-line has been doing a nice job. The backs have been, you know, running hard. And then that's something that, um, you know, I think has been a conscious decision. You know, we'll have to see where that, where the game goes, you know, on Sunday. But just watching film is, um, you know, they've got tight ends in there. They've got, you know, sometimes XL linemen. Um, you know, obviously they're they're able to move the ball downfield with Cooks and, and Collins and, and Moore, some of those guys down the field. Um, but it has been, um, you know, trying to run the football, hit some play action, you know, take some shots when they're there. They're on. Yeah, what's up, Coach? With uh, with Julio Jones, you, you know, trying to get him more involved in the offense. Like, are there things that you guys could do? Or is it really just a matter of defenses focusing on him? Because that's something that he brings up uh, repetitively when asked about his impact, you, you know, what he could do statistically. I think availability is really important for all players. Anything else that, or is it just What's really your just... your follow-up question, Teron? Well, I, really what, I, what I'm trying to follow up on and find out is just, you know, what are you guys doing to get Julio Jones more involved with the offense? Um, we're going to run our offense, whether Julio's out there, whether AJ's out there, whether Nick's out there, whether Chester's out there, uh, Dez. You know, we're we're going to run the offense. We're going to call plays that, that we think give us the best chance to win the football game. That, that's what we're going to do. Got it. Jim Wyatt. Mike, a lot of times when a team is is four and twelve, their takeaway giveaway number is not very good. The Texans actually a plus three. What have they yep. done well there? And I know they even had success against this team back in November. Yeah, absolutely. And that's um, I think that's just a testament, Jim, to to how they want to play. And I think that they realize. I think that uh, you know Nick and and David uh, realize that that's that's such an important stat in that. If you can, if you can win the turnover battle and uh, not beat yourselves, you know that's um, that's a right step in, in winning football games in this league. And because uh, the the talent and is so similar, and uh, they're just a sm such a small margin of error. And so you know, we 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 didn't do a very good job, and they did a great job of, of taking away from us. Uh, we we didn't create enough turnovers. We didn't create any and. Um, you just see the difference that it makes in, in when we play. So th they are trying to do that, and that's um, that's a testament to them. They've got some, some some great guys on defense that 
you know, are looking for those opportunities to turn the football um, over. And that's something that uh, Lovey Smith's defense has always been um, known for. You know, when they do play zone, you know, being able to, to break on the football, uh, if you catch it on them, you know, you better protect it. Guys are hammering at the football. You know, so those are things that they're teaching and, and coaching. John Glennon. Mike, obviously a, a pretty big step for you guys this year in terms of run D. Uh, just wanted to maybe get your thoughts on on one or two things that have, that have most contributed to that, whether it's, you know, scheme, personnel, any anything else that comes to mind for you? Uh, what do you what are you comparing that to? To last year. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's just a mentality, and sometimes it's you know these games go differently. You know, sometimes you get into games where teams can't run it. Um, sometimes opponents. You know, so. You know, we, we had some some astronomical gains last year. I don't want to re reference last year, but, you know, we had some some games where we gave up, a, you know, a lot of rushing yards, uh, un unfortunately. And I don't want to get caught up in too much of the numbers because I, I think, you know, that, that doesn't always tell the story. You know, I think it's stopping a run as, a, as about a mentality, being great tacklers, uh, everybody doing their job. So... You know, I'm proud of proud of how we we have stopped the run, but you know I, I thought there were too many loose runs. You know, last week against the Dolphins, they just they just had to stop running it. So that, there's a lot of things that go into just looking at the numbers that some people love to do. Last couple, Paul. Mike, uh, wondering about. Kyle on the defensive line and uh, progress you've seen from him. How influential has he been in the run game? And is he kind of the quintessential dirty work anonymous yeah, type yeah. that every team needs? He, um, you know, Pecco has got a, uh, he's got some versatility. You know, he's played different positions along the front. So he's been able to pick that up. Uh, I have always, you know, since we got him, I thought he played with really good technique. I'm not the biggest player, but um, I, I like the technique in which he plays with and, and, and his ability to hustle and, and play hard and uh, kind of like you mentioned, kind of grind away in there, um, which is critical. And so he's taken, and what else has he done is he's taken advantage of his opportunities, you know, being in there and, uh, you know, continuing to, to play well and uh, do the things that we're asking him to do. And uh, we hope that that continues. Chris Harris. Hey Mike, now that we have a sample size of a few games, uh, what would you say or how would you assess the impact that Zach Cunningham has had uh, on the defense in the time he's been here? I mean, Zach's just, you know, trying to be a great teammate, trying to learn these guys. And I think it's a little unique situation um, joining the team in the manner in which he did. But I think he, he's, he's trying to play physical and, and trying to do the things that we ask him to do and, and, and tackle and chase the football. and just try to continue to develop within our system. Last two questions, Ben Arthur. Hey, Mike, did, um, did, did Derek show you enough in, in practice this week for you to feel comfortable activating him if, um, if, need, if needed? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, we, we have some time to make that decision. We'll evaluate where we're at. But, you know, I mean, I think that he, Look good. We continue to track his speed and, and, and mileage and volume and see how he responds. So, you know, two days on the turf, uh, you know, we'll see where he's at tomorrow and see how he responds. But, you know, I feel good about where he's at. Last one, John Glennon. Mike, your, your favorite question for last, uh, uh, ruling anybody out at this point? Uh, Tart and uh, Naquan Jones. Tier Tart and Naquan Jones.